Hey, what, what did you just think of the energy from the beginning? Could you tell maybe your guys didn't really have it, or was it uh, uh, other themes in your mind right at the start? Uh, yeah, I thought uh, the Kings were the aggressor from the start, you know, putting a lot of pressure on us defensively, and we didn't execute early in the game. There were uh, four or five plays early where um, we just took quick shots or didn't, you know, didn't pass the ball to the open guy. And I think at halftime we had eight assists, um, you know, so – um, we just never got our rhythm. We never got into our game. Um, but I give Sacramento uh, the credit uh, for that. They they came out with more force and more energy, and they executed better. And um, so I, I, they, you know, the right team won. That's for sure. They they came in and uh, and earned earned the victory. And now we got to regroup and uh, get ready for Game Seven. They, they, Is there a reverb on this? Yeah, just push it back. Go ahead. They changed up their rotation, went smaller. Um, how did that impact the game? Well, they had momentum already before uh, they went small, just from the, the force that they were playing with and our uh, being in a rush offensively, taking quick shots. Uh, so I thought even though it was uh, we were ahead at the end of the first quarter by two, it didn't feel great. You know, you could, you could kind of sense that uh, – uh, you know they were getting better shots than, than we were, and, and uh, they were putting more pressure on us um, defensively. So, uh, but it definitely helped them. It was a great adjustment by Mike uh, to go small and to uh, you know get uh, more space in the uh, in the half court and open up the floor a little bit. And uh, you know they were able to to make 17 threes tonight, and I don't think they've made that many um, in the series. So um, they obviously having. You know, lost three in a row, um, felt the need to, to make a shift, and that was their big move tonight, and I think it really paid off. Steve, Jordan obviously had the ankle issues going on earlier in the series, but how would you kind of assess his performance since? Yeah, Jordan never really got going tonight, uh, unfortunately. Um, you know, he got a little frustrated early. He had, he had a couple plays where he didn't get calls, and, uh, you know, he was trying to attack but couldn't couldn't quite um, shake free. So um, just a frustrating night for him. But, um, you know, it, it, it was a, a poor night for all of us, you know, including me. You know, we, we always say we win together, we lose together. And this was a, a team effort that uh, includes players and coaches and um you know, the, uh, the, the Kings outplayed us, outcoached us, uh, deserved to win. Steve, just how disappointing emotionally is it? You get, the get, you get the win on the road. You knew you had to get. You can clinch here. You rarely lose when you can clinch at home. Uh, and knowing what you've got if you lose, what's your disappointment level? What do you think disappointment level is just in that locker room? Uh, yeah, I mean, everybody's down right now, of course. The game just ended. Um, so... Um, this is all part of it. You know, we've been through everything. Um, we've won a game seven on the road before in the playoffs. Um, we know we can do it, uh, but we've got to regroup and, um, you know, get, kind of fill up the cup and, and get our energy uh, ready for uh, for Sunday afternoon. Going back to, to Tim's first question, just kind of a focus and, and energy to start the game, I think heading into game five, you said if we weren't locked in, something was wrong. So do you think mm -hmm. that it was really just Sacramento, t is ag their aggression taking you out of it? Or, I mean, it, was there some, was there something wrong in not being able to really lock in for this potential closeout? Uh, no, I, I think you know the, these. Uh, I, I talked before the game how you know the, there's a different uh, energy to every game in a series. There's a different psychology to it, and uh, I talked to the team yesterday about how I would expect you know a different Sacramento team tonight, um, a looser one, a more aggressive one, because that's how you play when you're facing elimination. And uh, you know, game five, uh, we were the aggressor. Um, we had won two in a row. I felt like kind of the emotion favored us in that one. And, um, you know, I, I talked about with our team about, you know, be ready. These guys are coming after us. And, and they did. And uh, they just outplayed us. You know, there's sometimes, um, you know, this is what happens. This is the NBA. Everybody's got great players. Sacramento's had a hell of a year. So um, you got you to gotta win the game. And um, they came in and won the game. Steve, do you think the quicker turnaround between um, games five and six affected your team and 
you have less than 48 hours before tip-off for Game 7. Uh, is that a concern? Well, we'll be ready for Game 7. Um, you know, it, it doesn't matter. Like, you can, you know, look at everything and make excuses and say, well, we didn't have this or didn't have – it doesn't matter. None of that matters. The only thing that matters is going out there and and, uh, and doing it. They were the aggressor for sure. They, they, they had more juice, more energy. And uh, so we gotta we got to make sure that we're the team – that has that uh, on Sunday. We saw Monk and Fox get penetration early in the series, and maybe some of it was cut off. What happened with them? Did you, you know, was it just your guys getting beat off the dribble most of the time? Well, that was part of their strategy, you know, uh, going small, um, opening up the floor a little bit more. So they had more space to work with, and and, uh, and we did not respond very well. Our defense was not very sound. Um, you know, during uh, some of those stretches. So we'll, we'll watch the tape and figure out uh, what we can do better. How big a problem was Draymond's foul trouble? Well, it was, a, it was an issue, um, and yet I felt good going into halftime, only down seven, uh, considering the circumstances. Maybe it was eight, um, I think seven. Um, and, and then he was able to, to, you know, to play and make an impact in the, in the second half. So I thought we withstood his foul trouble early, um, but never really found our rhythm either. So um, it, it, it played a part, but, um, you know, again, that's, that's part of it. Steve, so you talked after game five saying that, you know, basically if we rebound and take care of the basketball, we'll be fine. Were you a little surprised that you didn't really – dominate in either area or do well in either area? Well, I mean, that's that's the series, right? So they had uh, 18 offensive boards, and um, and we had uh, 19 turnovers that they turned into 23 points. So, um, But they earned that. They earned that with their defense, and, um, and we did not um, execute very well in those areas. So uh, we paid the price. Thanks.